That's so cute. Come on, that's adorable. <laughs> I forgot. Dang it! So have you ever seen those videos where people uh, open their junk drawer and show you how to organize and all the cool stuff you can do with the junk inside? Yeah, this isn't gonna be like that. Okay, so how is everybody? I hope that the answer is fantastic because here's what happened in my January 2021. I decided to move everything from one room to another room. Now that doesn't make any sense because you don't know what I'm talking about. I had this beautiful studio, but all of my stuff, like where I filmed the squishies and the slime, that was all in a different room inside my home. Why did I do that? I don't know, but we're, we, I decided, uh, Papa Squish and I decided we were gonna take everything from that room and move it out here, which is a totally different, it's like a, a different building from my, it just is a mess. So we, take all, we took all that last week, and like, guess what I found, you guys? <gasps> Ta-da, I found this! This is like a massive junk drawer, Extraordinaire. I don't know. It, it's a <laughs> I found it in my Dr. Squish studio. Ta -da! This one is empty for some reason. But I found this junk drawer and this was like from back in the beginnings of Dr. Squish. Like when I first started in Japan and like I'd get through the video and stuff that I wanted to keep but I wasn't using. I'd like throw in here but I haven't looked in here for like two years at least. And uh, so we were moving this thing and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to open this on camera. Do you want a tour of my junk drawer? If your answer wasn't yes, you can go to a different video, it's fine. Ta-da! I have no idea what is in here. Oh my God. Take a look at my axolotl. I am so excited uh, because when I tell you I don't know what's in here, I'm not being silly or doing it for just the video. I haven't been in here in at least two years. Like, when we moved to this house, I obviously shoved the drawer up there. It was in a closet, that Tupperware thingy. And uh, I haven't been in this drawer ever since. So, uh, what, you know, you're gonna be surprised as I am. Are you ready? First things, oh, look! Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like a, it's a pouch. Why don't I use this? It's obviously a pouch and it's super plushy and soft, but it's pizza toast! There's something in it. Oh my gosh, oh, it's a little sumo kitty! <laughs> and for everyone noticing, like, Dr. Squish, where the heck are your fingernails? Oh my goodness, Dr. Squish is also human. It doesn't, doesn't feel like doing her nails all the time. Oh, speaking of kitty, it's another pouchy! What did I use these for? Does anybody remember? Can you remember back that far in Dr. Squish? Oh, there's something in here too. Why is there something? In, there's like nothing but one thing. I dropped something. It's a little kitty on a cheesecake. I honestly can't tell if the camera is focusing or not. I don't know. That's super cute. Oh, squishies. I found a squishy though. I don't believe that this is an Amer I don't. I think this is an American squishy. I don't think this is a Japanese one. So I have been using this drawer. Oh, charm. Squishy Brit. Man, it's like I have some kind of weird thing where I can't hold stuff. <sighs> Nostalgia. <laughs> I did at least two, maybe three, big poop shows. YouTube said, yeah, we're not, we're not doing that stuff anymore. Actually, the big poop shows I did, there was nothing wrong with them. Because they were just like poo emoji shows, basically. But some other people, <coughs> we won't mention any <coughs> bad <coughs> baby names, they actually like were doing gross poop joke stuff and they, they got all the poop word banned. And uh, this guy, does he, I, I feel like he's supposed to squeak, but he's super hard and I, he doesn't squeak. I don't, that's what I had him for. Japan thinks that uh, poop is really funny. Ice cream scoop! But surely like, Surely, like, when you do this, there's something supposed to... <laughs> it's it's broken. Yes? No, I don't know. Nobody's home. Uh... Oh, cute! I actually have a giant one of these in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. It used to be in here. <gasps> this is the butt face detective! What's it like living in Japan? This is a beloved children's character. That is, in fact, a butt. He is, in fact, a little detective. He literally blows fart breath on people and solves crime. It's not a joke. This is a thing. And it's a, it's a very popular thing. 
That didn't go where I wanted it to. Oh, Sumikogurashi. <gasps> cute. Oh, more. Oh, cute. This one is a little, uh, I believe this is a pork chop. This is my little fried pork chop. Oh, he's so soft. And look. Is it something in here? I'm nervous. <gasps> There is two-year-old candies in here. Guys, that's candy. Oh, there he is. He is. A por that's my pork chop. Oh, my gosh. How do I? Look. Here's my little pork chop. What is this candy? It says it is chocolate caramel choco. It's three years old. But eating it. Oh my gosh. This is disgusting. Gross, you guys. I would I thought I was gonna be really funny and be like, oh, I'll eat this two-year-old chocolate, but nope. That's nasty. Can we just appreciate the fact that I had three-year-old food sitting in my junk drawer? I mean I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, this is from my old background. Oh, so is this. You guys, if you like really OG Dr. Squish stuff, you know my old background. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I literally found two walkie toys like at exactly the same time. Well, they still work. Oh, he said nope. <laughs> nope. And uh, a cinnamon roll. Hey, look, a rubber ear. I obviously never cut this one open because it's just silicone, but I feel like maybe I'm almost 100% positive that I won this out of a crane game. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. It kind of looks like my ear. It's very squishy, but it's it's funny that it's got a ball chain on it. Like, how many you know instances of severed ear are you going to be wearing on your backpack or your keys or something? I found these. Oh, there's so much good stuff in there. It doesn't sound like they have anything in them. I don't know why I don't use these. I should take these out. These are cool. It says, love you for you. They say the exact same thing. These are empty. They're cool. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, there's like, there's so much Gudetama stuff in here. What? Oh, look at my little sailor. And, oh, that's one. <gasps> these are the McDonald's ones. These are Japanese McDonald's, not U.S. McDonald's. <laughs> He's so cute. I have a whole video where I open those ones. I need a little milk. Yes! What does he say? Samai. He's like, oh, it's a bit... He's like, it's a bit cramped in here. Woo! Gude ta tama. And then a little gude tama tray. <gasps> There's a little, little egg under there. So much gude tama. Here's another. Hey. And another. Oh, they're totally different, but they're both spoons. Cute. Oh, Forky. Forky asks a question. I found, oh, look. As I smell it, don't smell it. I found a little, a tiny butt face detective. He's tiny. You know where he came from? Why am I shoving it in my ear? He came out of a bath bomb. I found. Slime suckers. I do remember using these on one of my very, very early Dr. Squish videos. That's also Gudetama, but it looks, that one looks weird. Sumiko Gurashi. Whoa! Stop flying. He's a little peanut. A little Mickey peanut. <gasps> he's so filthy. Why is he so dirty? You guys, he's completely freaking filthy. This is a taco wiener. No, I'm not making that up. No, I didn't say anything. It literally says taco san wiener. Uh. I think I got some of his junk in my eye. So uh, if you live in Japan, or if maybe you don't live under a rock and your mom makes you bentos, they uh, they literally will take hot dogs and 
like cut up the end and when you boil them it makes them look like <sighs> octopus and octopus in Japanese is taco exactly like a taco taco but taco taco and they call they call so uh, sausage or hot dogs they call them wiener <laughs> wiener wieners they're like wieners so taco wiener it's too early oh cute guys I thought I found another Gudetama thing, but it's Tokidoki and the wheels don't move. This is one of those sushi cars they had uh, for a little while. That's super cute. I bought this at the Daiso like a million years ago. I don't know the point of it, but it's one of, it's one of the most useless, adorable items I've ever found in my entire life. It's the hamburger guidebook. And my favorite part is that it says it's by Donald Carter. Who the heck are you, Donald Carter? But when you open it, it's literally like a little Little notebook that's one of my most prized useless possessions that I forgot that existed so how are you guys doing I mean 2021 is starting off weird just following on the footsteps of 2020 something's on my nose I feel like that taco wiener got everywhere you know I'm doing okay I took a break for like six months I feel better I found this guy There's a whole, uh, <gasps> look what just fell out. Oh my goodness. I feel like though this can be bought here. This does not look like Japanese stuff. Japanese are all about the cute, like Mr. Pooh emoji. This looks more like <laughs> an American version of doo doo. You guys look how cute that is. It's a princess gotcha gotcha. I don't know if you can see it. I believe that I literally got it out of a gotcha gotcha machine and this actually does work. Oh, so that the stuff will come out. Okay, like it's got the tiniest little gotcha in it, right? Like literal teeny weeny little gotcha and the prize inside each gotcha is a little princess coin. Awesome. I love that. Squump. Oh! Roach on wheels. Does it pull back? I feel like it pulls back. It does. It pulls back. Oh shoot pulls back and runs around this. I have cats. I'm gonna take this inside my house. Oh my gosh! I literally found one of my favorite things I ever got. When I was in Japan, I got, a lot of this stuff isn't Japanese in here. I got these, again, out of a gotcha machine. Now gotcha machine, if you don't know what I'm even talking about, it's, in the US we don't really have them. It's toy machines, 25 cent machines that I used to, oh God, I'm so old. <sighs> Bubblegum machines, you get super balls out of them. In Japan, there's entire like places with just walls of these machines and the toys in them are actually good. And you spend about a dollar and you actually like what you get. Hence these. It is a can with a pop top. Each different can, as you can see, there were different ones. Had a poo inside. Oh, and it's the little cutest little poo to evers. Him sits right there. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. That was a golden one. He was like a special one. This one was a mint chocolate chip poo. And then this one, he was a little chocolate white, a little swirl chocolate vanilla poo. I mean like, I think I collected all of these. I would go, we would spend like all Saturday going around collecting gotchas. I miss so much of Japan. I got a whole bunch of Tokidoki unicornos. <gasps> chop he hangs on my glass but he's gonna chill out with me right there found a squishy sushi <gasps> squishy blob is he pokemon i can't tell in that form oh yes definitely <laughs> oh my gosh okay i found a little book person can you see it peach boy can you see it it says peach boy now if you don't know the, you may have heard it, but the famous Japanese story, Momotaro. Momotaro is the name for Peach Boy, and it's a very famous, it's like a fairy tale. They tell it a lot. Little book person, look what happens when I open the back cover. 
Ah! Peach booty! That's so cute. Come on, that's adorable. Ah, that's <gasps> oh, I found a tanuki! Guys, I didn't even know I had it! I love tanukis like a whole, whole bunch. I have an entire collection. If you don't know about tanukis, I feel like if you don't know about tanukis, I may not be the one to tell you. Tanukis are a tanuki. Now, you may hear people in the U.S. call it tanuki because of Mario. They made it tanuki Mario, but it's tanuki. Tanuki. Uh, they're Japanese raccoon dogs. They're neither raccoons nor dogs. But this guy right here and the way he looks, he's like a famous Japanese little statue. And anywhere in Japan, there will be a little... Uh, statues of tanukis outside of restaurants, especially bars that serve alcohol and stuff. The history. I'm just going to leave him right here and look at him. If you notice anything interesting about him, good for you. We're going to keep going. Oh, I found another unicorn. Oh, this one I think is done. I almost fell out of the chair. <gasps> I found a, why do I have these? I found an unopened package of Garbage Pail Kids. No, no, like for real. You guys like what? There's a seal on it. And I got, I can tell I got it at Village Vanguard, which is a, like a kind of crazy store in Japan. It's like a gift shop, but it's super weird, crazy stuff. It says I pay 480 yen for it, but this is an unopened garbage pail kids. Oh, this is the fifth series. So this is the fifth series and these have never been opened. They're getting opened right now. Oh, I'm so afraid. That was, uh, okay, 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 okay. It's happening, uh, it's happening. <gasps> the nostalgia. Maybe it had gotten opened before. Uh, by whoever like owned that store because there's no gum in it and there should have been so I feel like these may have been opened and resealed that takes away a little bit of it but hey I'm super excited we have a mosquito I don't think I had that one Earl painting maybe I didn't have any of the fifth series because I don't remember this one either hot rod and, and oh there's two more Nat nerd and Ben bolt you guys that was the best find ever. I don't really remember getting these. Cool. They're <laughs> Why are those thrown away in my junk drawer? <laughs> what the heck, Doc? Jeez. <gasps> Cute. Do you guys know what this is? I couldn't hear you if you said, I don't know. You, you may have said, ooh. This is a fidget. <sighs> yes. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's a fidget toy, a little pink cookie. Got a cool thing in the middle. Woo! Yes. Oh, so good. Sna I don't know why these didn't take off. You know, slime and squishies and fidget cubes and all stuff, sorts of stuff took off, but these did not. And I remember these in Japan. It's actually kind of squishy, but it's got a, a pop in the middle. Oh, that's so good. Oh, love that. Stitch. Stitch. Oh, no! Poop and dog when he sets like he's supposed to. I have more than one of these. Where's he at? I knew it! Yes! Poopin' dog number two. Ugh. Japan is a weird place, y'all. Got this. I don't think they make this one anymore. This was a Vinylmation Collector Series. I can't, there's so much stuff that's thrown in this junk drawer that really probably shouldn't be. I should be ashamed of myself! Bacon! I love it washing machine. This is cool. <gasps> I found another one. Oh. Get some of that crunch. Mmm. Good stuff. I know I have more, but I don't know where they are. Let's pull this out. Because, oh. So here's a wash tub. A wash tub. It's a bathtub. It kind of went with these. Do you guys know those toilets, like, that if you, you get the the Japanese toilet kits and then you can put like liquid candy in them and then drink it out of the toilet and it's sour. That's what these were, just a different series. Same deal. 
This one's got crud in it. Hmm, sure I'm glad I kept that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> why? Just, just why? Some squishies I often wondered about. This is one of them. Oh, cute! Oh, Papa Squish brought this back. Now, Papa Squish was in the military back when we lived in Japan, and he used to deploy, and I think he brought this back from uh, Okinawa. Cute. Oh, his eyes used to pop. He must, he must have gotten deflated or something. His eyes don't pop anymore. Probably not what 2021 needs. I had a bacon show, didn't I? <sighs> there are a lot of things from Dr. Squish that I have erased out of my memory completely. <laughs> Big bacon show is one of those things. I did, I found two more of these. Oh, this one's empty, oh no. Oh no, it's not, I found him. Ah, cute! Okay, so I found another one of these poo cans. This one was made to look like new, ugh, where's his face? New, what the heck, there we go. This one was made to look like New Year's mochi with a little mandarin orange on top. He came with a little pillow to sit on. Ah, this one! This one is a little pink one, and it actually had a little toilet paper. Oh, it would have been perfect for last year. Oh, he sits on it. The others were kneeling. <laughs> what a perfect little guy uh, for 2020. Hi, right, man, 2020, I was like hibernating. I just, I hid away. What did you guys do? What did this go to? I actually have two, no, three. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got three of these sumikogurashi and they stack. I told them, I was like, why are they round on the bottom? I forgot. Dang it! Oh, and a tiny little screaming chicken. That's the tiniest little screaming chicken that ever there was. Does it work? It's very abrasive. a whole bunch of these. I don't think there's any reason why I have these. Ooh, ooh fancy. <sighs> okay. A little bit ago I showed you this. It's a fidget toy. A popping stress toy. But you guys, look. It's so ugly. Do you want to know why it's so ding dang ugly? This was my homemade attempt. I took like a mold that I made out of real chocolate and I put brown hot glue in it. And then I think I put like snapping barrettes inside. Oh, it's ugly, but it's so satisfying. That's what they say about me. I wish you guys could feel this. Oh gosh, it pops so good. This is going in my room. I found another taco wiener! I am not ashamed of myself. Harry, you're in a junk drawer here. Oh, I found, this is apparent. Look at all the good stuff in here. Good day, Tama twins. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So I found Harry Totoro. Hedwig capybara in an onsen. And a straight up butt ton of sumiko gurashi. This is a good drawer. Oh, there's more. This must have been my sumiko gurashi drawer. There's more. There's like a lot. <gasps> cute. Oh gosh. Do you guys see these little dango? This is such a cute little keychain. And actually, I think it opened. They were squishy. Oh my goodness. Oh, they were so squishy. Squishy dango. I miss dango. Little Squish tells me on a daily basis, she's like, I miss the dango man. Because there used to be a dude, and we would go shopping down the shopping street who would like sell dango on the side of the street. That's not suspicious at all to buy sweets from strangers on the street. It's not, ah, the golden poo. Yes. Here's a little one. Oh, this is what I was trying to do. Here's a little one. <laughs> Mine looks just as good. Be quiet with your judgmental self. Mine definitely pops better than that one. So cool. 
these guys weren't weird at all. I got these from the zoo of all places. It's my little money cat sushi. I don't know. And uh, like that's basically, that's it. Amazing. So you guys made it through uh, my junk drawer tour. I don't know what to say about all this. Maybe it should have stayed in the junk drawer. Let me know what you think. I mean, surely there would be comments on this one. If you made it this far, congratulations. You were as bored as I was. I hope that, that you have fun watching me go through my junk drawer though, because that was like a walk down Dr. Squish history lane. If Blathers could put that stuff in a museum, I'd go look at it. I mean, for free. I hope you had fun watching me open it though. And uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos in 2021, seeing what I can get up to. Hope you uh, are ready for it. Don't, don't be a stranger, Dr. Squish. Oh, it's so good. I love you to pieces and uh, I will see you on my next show, I hope. It's gonna be amazing. No more junk though. Bye guys.